and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I am going to paint on the last of my beautiful little records that has been cut into a butterfly. I got these from a, um, a local artist who had, was selling them in the store where I sell some of my paintings and I said to him, oh could you cut me some? I really would love to have those to paint on. So she did. She also taught me how to do it myself and um, I have made a video which is video 443 how to cut records um, but this video is not about cutting records this video is about boring on them but paint on them and have fun so first thing you do when you are pouring on a record is you cover up the back of the hole that way you don't lose all your paint down the hole okay you can then Re, um, remake the hole to put your clock fitting through or whatever you're going to do if you would like but I am going to just leave that there like that and then I'm going to pop some of my little tins underneath the wings just to balance her out and sit just there awesome okay now what I am going to do for this one because on the other ones I have poured I cut the wings off and dipped um, but this time I'm going to do a swipe and I'm going to put the color through the middle and then pour, pour white on first put the color through the middle and then swipe out to make the wings that's the target let's see how well I do <laughs> um, now I have really done nothing to prepare this um, it's literally just a record I did sort of sand the edges that she'd cut just so it's not quite so harsh although I didn't do a very good job over there it's quite a pointy bit there and to do that literally I've just used a 180 grit sandpaper and um, just give it a rub. It sands up pretty easily. You can really make it quite smooth. Uh, just get those burrs off. Just as if you were doing it with wood. Because those of you that have done any acrylic pouring before, you know that any tiny little imperfections show up so I'm not expecting this to be perfect because it's not perfect but it's nice to give it a go to try and get it reasonably perfect <laughs> okay so I'm going to start off as I said by putting a coat of white on and I'm not going to use my background white I'm going to use my acrylic pouring my titanium white rather than my house white and I'm just going to take it out, cover it up, just put a light coating over all of it just so that the whole thing's got paint. Um, it is plastic, it's non-permeable, it's, if you're not careful you can actually peel the dry paint off but because it's got the little in, ingrainedy bits it's a bit harder than peeling it off perfectly flat plastic obviously um, as you can see this butterfly is not perfectly flat how about that so I'm going to have puddles lying around the place and probably a little bit thinner in some places but I'm good with that, you know what? If it's not fun and maybe a little bit of a challenge why do it? Um, 
I enjoy fun. Got that. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Oh, that's a bit of the... That's a bit of the... Um, label. Watch this. It's not in the paint. It's... Oh well, we're going to have a bump there. That's fine. I don't mind. So, what colours should we make this pretty little butterfly? Because we have a green label under there, and I've got, I'd almost put money on it that that's going to bleed. <laughs> I am actually going to put green so that it looks okay uh, and then what goes with green who knows I think purple goes with green what do you reckon that one's got some silicon on it so that should be fun and I also think I'm going to put some silver. Now, the next question I have to answer myself is in what order do I put these in? Do I put them all down and then swipe? Do I put one colour down, swipe that, and then put the next colour down, swipe that? I think that one's the one I'm going to do. So. I'm going to start with the green and I'm going to now for those of you that go why is this person giving me a business card you can stop saying that now because the reason is so that you can paint with them <laughs> they don't realize that they're giving you painting materials but you do so I'm just going to drop that into there and do that and then kind of vaguely try and do the other same the other side it's not quite perfect but that's okay now this green does not have any silicon in it but as you can see we are getting sort of like cells showing up and those are um, probably from the flow troll. Okay. Now, this purple was made by my dear friend Vanessa when she came and be my practice dummy. Bunny. Practice bunny. We'll call them practice bunnies. Um, Oh, it's gone a bit lumpy. She reused another pot. And I think that pot may have decided to contribute to the additional paint. Now obviously you don't have to do it like me. Don't have to be like me. You be you and I'll be me. 
When you see what you can see, then you'll know just how awesome you are. Now, someone out there is going, Oh, Michelle, they're supposed to be identical. Butterflies are identical. No, not all butterflies are identical. Especially when they're made by me. If you want identical, what you need to do is paint one side, photograph it, and have it printed. <laughs> Now, silver. I'm actually going to see if I can make his body silver. That's pretty. Now. I'm going to use a straw for this bit. How's that looking? I'm not sure. <laughs> um, definitely a tropical butterfly. Look, there's some cells coming out of that purple. I feel like I need a little bit more purple on in that center to break up some of that green.
Now let's have a look. Got the cells in the purple. Because the silicon's in the purple. It's not, it's not what I had in mind. It's kind of funky, but as I say, not what I had in mind. So, what do you do when it doesn't work for you? You swipe it again and see what happens. That's what you do when your acrylic pouring now. Oh, swiping on an uneven surface is not what I would consider easy. Now that looks a real mess. Let's see if the cells can save it. It's fun. It's definitely fun. If it was all like that side, I'd be excited. I think it's just this wing here that's not exciting me. So let's have a bit more of a play. Just got to add a bit more colour. Oh, that's better. Fill in that hole. Yeah, baby. Cover up the black. I like it. Definitely wasn't what I'd been planning, but I like it. So, I'm just creating a more linear body for it. Yep, that's definitely better. I definitely like that better. Just a reminder to all of you that are out there watching this. I'm having fun with paint. And if you learn something from me, awesome. If you don't, 
that's not my problem <laughs> i'm an artist and i'm sharing my joy of paint with you so please take from these videos what you desire i am not putting myself out there as a painting tutor i teach what i do and talk about what i do but that is not necessarily what you need so find who works for you and I'll be who I am <laughs> all right so let's just zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit clearer Got some yummy cells. And kind of looks like a butterfly. Shaped like a butterfly. Funky colors like a butterfly. Has a body like a butterfly. And we can add antenna later. So let's see what happens when it's dry. In three, two, one okay i moved it and i found this and another one that's really cool too so i just thought i'd share my dipping with you my dip 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 dipping and um i'm going to use a round cabochon for this one as you can see i'm now using a toothpick with my blue tack um oh, it doesn't want to focus i'll bring it down here then um because having done those earrings where I just stuck the whole thing into the flower oasis, I was like, hey, that's really easy. So I'm going to try doing these the same way. If you have a small enough bit of blue tack, come on, focus, honey. Why is it not focusing? Oh, there we go. You can kind of see what's happened under there. And as long as it's sitting pretty straight on your on your oasis, I've got a tissue over my oasis so that you don't have to see the hideously ugly. It should sit there and dry quite nicely. So let's have a look at the other bit that I spotted there we go um i was thinking this looks quite water droplet in shape so that's what i'm going for if you've never seen anyone do this before guys jump into the description of this video and there's a link to both where you can buy these cabochons and there's trays to go put them in that should look good um, as well as a video about how I do it Oh, I don't know if that's going to be stable enough. Here we go. Stable. Thou shalt be stable. <laughs> and where I dipped, I'm just going to see if there's any silicon wants to pop up. No, don't burn the house down, Michelle. Not a good plan. What about this? pile over here Whee! that's siliconized all right let's do something with that a love heart maybe let's do it let's fall in love
Now that one I did not Oh, what is going on for you, phone? Let's do that. That's all good. And as per usual, I could keep dipping and dipping and dipping and dipping, but I'm not going to. I'm going to end this video, then I will be back. To show you the dry results of all three cabochons and the butterfly in three, two, one. Okay, beautiful people, it dried. Yay! Uh, we did seem to get a bit of a flow off the corner. Look at this. Obviously, it decided it had too much paint and needed to escape. So it, you can see it as it all dragged towards the corners. It sort of morphed my body a little bit, which I'm not excited about. Other than that, I do like that look. Um, but I do also like some of these cells. They look funky. So I'm quite pleased with it. I'm sure it will find a home on some girl's bedroom some stage. Um, so that's that's cool. I like that. And let's have a look at what we dipped. I've got um, this one looks like an elephant or an anteater to me. <laughs> but of course you don't have to have them that way around. You could have it any way around you like. Because it's round, not like the, the hearts, which kind of have a defined direction at which they are allowed to go. Oh, of course, unless you're being weird. Um, now, what I want to show you is I made a bit of boo-boo and a slip with the knife as I was cleaning up the edges. So I have a hole in my paint, as you can see there. So I thought, well... That's all right, it's got silver in it. If I just throw it onto a silver backing, it'll be fine. And it's kind of okay, but it's kind of not. So I think to fix this one, all I need to do is just um, paint some silver paint across the back of it and let that dry before I put it into its little background. But it's pretty, it's cute. I like it. So that one's cool and then we have the water droplet which is just interesting and funky it actually looks like a bald eagle that's funny no vulture what are those things i can only think of them in cartoons anyway huh we don't have them in New Zealand. Um, so I like it. I like it. I like it. I like all of it. Pleased with the results. How does it get any better than that? Now, who wants to come and play? Come and play with me. I'm going live. Our end of month live stream is coming up soon. So, if you want to know when it is so that you can be there and play with me, make sure you're signed up on this in the next day or so uh, in order to receive the email that says, I'm going live in 24 hours. <laughs> Ish. So, um, yeah, there it is. I cannot think of anything else to say other than I adore you. I am so grateful for you all and I will see you in another video, which I'm about to record now. So I have no idea what it is. <laughs> okay, guys, I adore you. I'll see you super soon. Bye bye.